Hello and welcome. In today's video, I'm sharing with you the 10 beauty products that I cannot live without. Those products that have stood the test of time throughout the years. I'm collaborating with Des, who has the channel Beauty by Des. She does fashion, she does skincare. Sometimes she'll pop in a little bit of her vacation blog. So definitely go check out Beauty by Des. I'm gonna link her channel down below. And when you're done watching my 10 favorites that I can't live without, go check hers out. I have not peeked at her list yet, so I'm excited to watch hers as well. And I know you're gonna enjoy meeting her. This is also a tag video from Tamara and Kiki. They were inspired after watching Lisa J and Nikki LaRose, their 10 favorite products that they can't live without. Let's jump into the top 10 beauty products I think I cannot live without. Now, to qualify for my top 10, they had to meet two criteria. Number one, they had to be products that I purchased year after year after year. Number two, they had to be products that made a significant impact on my beauty routine. And it gave me some time to reflect on my beauty practices and what sort of stood the test of time. So the first thing is a lash serum. Now I started going down the lash serum rabbit hole around 2015. And my very first lash serum, I think was lash food. And then I decided to go straight in with the prescription by Mad Prost. I'm gonna show you a picture here of what my lashes used to look like. I was obsessed with having long lashes. As a teenager, I was always trying out different mascaras to make my lashes look long. They were always stubby. I was like, oh my gosh, I am never gonna have long lashes. That's just my genetics, that's it. It wasn't until I decided I'm gonna find something to grow my lashes and I'm gonna find the perfect mascara. So. That was around 2015. I was a bit late to the game to all this beauty stuff, but I had, you know, obviously worn mascara, but I had never really heard of the concept of a lash growth serum. I went whole hog into the prescription by Mataprost, and I know it comes with risks, and I have since changed to a non-prostaglandin lash serum, and that's what I'm trying right now. It's Revive Lash. I've been using this for three months, and I have a video coming up in a few weeks on my experience with this. I have purchased a lash serum either a prescription or over the counter since around 2015. And I am so excited to finally have lashes. It wasn't until recently that I found Lumify. These are fabulous. It wasn't actually until I started this YouTube channel that I found Lumify. These eye drops are fabulous for mature eyes. As we age, our eyes get a little bit duller. They're just not quite as bright. These really brighten your eyes. They just make you look more awake and more beautiful. And I, once I discovered this, I never went back. It just gives that beautiful white crystal clear look to my eyes. The next product is mascara. Now, Kim, my friend who introduced me to Lash Food, also introduced me to Benefits. And at Benefits, I found my favorite mascara. I cannot tell you how many times I've picked this up. In fact, it is not really a mascara. It's their real the tinted primer, it's in brown. I love it. I love it for a natural look. As you know, I'm a minimalist when it comes to makeup. I just like that natural, fresh look. Today, I have on three coats and it's the perfect daytime look. I love it. It never clumps for me personally. I love it. It's easy to put on, it's easy to layer, and it is my go-to, my holy grail mascara for years. And I think it's been I think Kim introduced me to benefits about 10 years ago. So that's been a while. And I, before that, I kind of dabbled in mascara. Mascara always made my eyes itch. So I kind of steered clear of it as a teen. So it wasn't until my late 40s, early 50s that I found this and have stuck with it ever since. And of course, you guys know my new find is the Tower 28 mascara. I love them both, but this is my holy grail that I can't live without. All right, next up are teeth. Now, I have been obsessed with my teeth ever since I got my braces off at, I think I was 13. I started braces at 11 and then I got them at 13 and then I had them again as an adult. But I have really been obsessed with nice, straight white teeth for years. And my favorite toothbrush is an electric toothbrush. And I had that Snoopy toothbrush when I was a kid. Did you, you guys remember that? Snoopy Snoopy toothbrush. I don't know, there's a whole sing song about it. I will find a picture and I will put it up here. Through the years, I have always been obsessed with electrical toothbrushes. And I was very happy with the, the Sonic toothbrush. This is the one that you get from the drugstore. I don't think it's like 10 or $15. And then my husband kept saying, you know, you have to get the Oral-B. I'm like, oh, the dentist is just pushing that. That's super expensive, that's crazy. You know, just an electric toothbrush will do. And he's like, no, this is like game changing. And I was like, didn't believe him, didn't believe him. Well, I finally believe him. It's just this year. I'm gonna 
bought so many electric toothbrushes, but this is a game changer. It is not cheap, but I've never had my teeth feel so clean. I can't tell you. I just thought, oh, this little head that's too small, won't really get everything clean. No, 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 no. If you want clean, fresh, and beautiful glowing teeth, you need to get the Oral-B. So that is one of the toothbrushes now I cannot live without. I've always had an electric toothbrush, but that one I can't live without. All right, also in the teeth, healthy teeth area are teeth whiteners. As soon as the teeth whitening strips came out, I was obsessed. My kids were, I think, I think they were in their early teens and my youngest was obsessed with them too. He was the first one to try them. And I was a little bit worried. I was like, oh, you know, I don't mess up my teeth. But he was the first one to try them. I think he was like 13 or 14. Anyway, and his teeth were like, whoa. And so he convinced me to try them. And I've been obsessed ever since about home teeth wiping. So the current system that I use right now is Oraglow. I love this. I purchased this about maybe two or three years ago and you can get refills for it. Now I purchased the older version. This one doesn't actually come with the tray attached to it, but now the newer version comes in this cute little kit. It's super convenient. It's really inexpensive and it comes with the trays. You just fill up the trays and then you turn on your LED light. The Oral system will whiten your teeth like nobody's business. I have gone in for in-office whitening. I do that every two to three years, but this is my maintenance program. I do love my coffee. I do love my tea. And so that just causes stain over the years. And so this is my magic solution to having nice, white, bright teeth. My next beauty product that I cannot live without is lip gloss. I have been obsessed with lip gloss since I was a teen. I always had one rolling around in my backpack or my purse. I was about 15 when I discovered lipstick. My mom, I tried out my mom's lipstick and I think I've told this story about the Clinique Surprise lipstick to you guys. Um, my mom would always keep a lipstick in the bathroom medicine cabinet. So one day before school, after she left, I snuck in there and I started using her lipstick in the morning before school. And I think I might even snitch this and put it in my purse at one point, but eventually I confessed and I told her, mom, I stole your lipstick, which she probably couldn't have cared less. This is the Clinique lipstick and surprise. And it has been a repurchase for me for years and years and years. And I'll give it a swipe and it's a mauve colored lipstick. So back to my lip gloss story. I have always had lip glosses, but my obsession is with mauve lip gloss. And this is the one by Revive, by Revive, by Rare Beauty. I also have one by Revive. Now I don't have the color that's mauve. I gave that to my mom, but this is the one in Lily. And you can tell these shades are all pretty darn similar, but I like a sheer lip color, but they're all mauve. Like every single one that I pick out is mauve. Like even the one from Charlotte Tilbury, her superstar lips, mauve again. You can see every color I own is mauve. And last year I did a video. I was trying to get out of my comfort zone and you guys really encouraged me to use these apricot toned lip products. And they were really pretty, but I tell you everything I purchase is mauve. I might need an intervention. So if you, if you think I need an intervention to change lip colors, let me know. But this is what I'm comfortable in. This is what I've worn for a million years. And I also have an obsession now with lip masks. So that's pretty new, but I have lip masks and lip glosses are my favorite. I like that kind of sheer look to my lips. That's my obsession and a product that I can't live without a mauve lip color, either a lip gloss or a lipstick. Next up is an exfoliation product for skincare. Now I went wrong and strong with exfoliation products. I did the Apari scrub. Do you remember the Apari scrub? The apricot scrub. Tore my face apart with that. I've done the St. Ives. Tore my face apart with that. I didn't know the Stridex pads were an exfoliation, but I destroyed my, destroyed my skin with that. So over the years, I've kind of dabbled in skincare, but I never really had a skincare routine until I turned 50, which is kind of what this channel is all about. But the number one product that I purchased over and over again are these exfoliating products. I even had a Clarisonic. I think I used it a week and then I just gave it away. And it really wasn't until 50 and I decided to learn a lot about skincare that I really understood the power of exfoliation. What a chemical exfoliant can do for mature skin is revolutionary to your skin. It just sloughs off those dead layers and it really allows your moisturizers and your skincare products to go to work. I think it's the number one thing you can do as a mature woman 
to really boost your skincare game. And so my first exfoliation product, which I purchased again and again, it's in my cupboard at all times, is the jeans. This is their lactic acid exfoliant, and it's good, it says, for all skin types. Now, if you've never tried an exfoliating product, then it's always good to do a patch test. That's just kind of common sense. But this is a very gentle lactic acid exfoliating product. You can use it in the day. You can use it at night. It will make your skin glow. I've gifted this product. Everybody seems to love it. I've even purchased the one that you can get in the UK with the glycolic acid. Now, this is a little bit more potent. Glycolic acid is a smaller AHA molecule that goes deeper into the skin and can really help build collagen. If you want to start, if you've never done an exfoliating treatment before and you want to start something that is going to change your skin in your 50s, this is it. Like I said, my cupboard always has one in it. The next product is a product that kind of breaks my first rule for inclusion, which is that I've purchased it over and over and over for years and years and years. But it has made such an impact on my beauty routine, I have to include it because if I'd had it at 15, I would have gone through so many less struggles. This is an IPL device for hair removal. Now, I am someone that's hugely prone to eczema. I struggled throughout my entire life with eczema on the backs of my knees, on my shins, on my legs after I shaved. It was terrible. I just really suffered with shaving. And if I had been able to have an IPL device where I didn't have to shave, literally it would have been life-changing because I, my legs always look terrible. I didn't even like wearing shorts. This would have been life-changing. I only found this two years ago at 56. I even tried laser hair removal in the early 2000s. Girlfriends were doing it and I was like, yes, please, thank you. But I did multiple rounds of it and it just didn't work. For some reason, this guy does. This is the Smooth Skin Bear Plus. And I love it. If I had, like I said, if I had found this when I was 15, it would have been life changing. So I highly recommend, even if you're in your 50s and maybe your hair is thinned out on your legs as it does as we age, it's not probably as robust and thick as it used to be. And maybe you don't have to shave as often. But if you really don't like shaving, or if you your thin is very your skin is very thin and it gets irritated from shaving, underarms, legs bikini area, this is my miracle worker. The next beauty product I'm gonna share with you is an expensive product, but it's a beauty product that I stand by that I have used now for 11 years and I have repurchased it because the inner lining wore out and they gave me a discounted price on the next one. This is an LED laser light cap for hair growth. Now, this was the original laser light cap that was sold, like I said, 11 years ago and you could only get by prescription. I spent a lot of money on this, but I was diagnosed with androgenetic alopecia and I was up for anything at the time. So I started on the minoxidil program. I started on low level laser light therapy and I was able to regain a significant amount of hair growth. Now over the years, it's ebbed and flowed. I've tried different things and I have a whole playlist on my hair loss journey and it's an ongoing process. This takes, is, hair loss is a marathon and it takes a village to try and discover the root of your hair loss, the solutions to your hair loss. So I'm just gonna let you know that this is my holy grail for hair loss along with some topicals that I use. It is definitely remaining in my top 10. If you want more, informa more information about this particular cap or if you want just information about hair loss in general, you can leave me a comment down below or check out my playlist series. And I do have an update coming up in the end of March on my hair loss journey. There has been some big changes. So if you're concerned about hair loss or if you've experienced hair loss as a mature beauty, definitely check out that video coming up and my playlist up above. All right, last but not least, number 10. It's something I've used now for years. I actually did repurchase it and returned it and stuck with my original one. Now, I have had neck problems because of my OT work for about eight or nine years. Um, we lived patients and I just had a neck injury. It did heal up, but my neck has never been the same. And it kind of started me thinking that, wow, I'm not gonna be able to do this career into my late 60s. So my neck problems were slightly chronic after I healed up, but they were always difficult when I was trying to go to sleep. And my number one beauty tip is get your sleep. If nothing else, get your sleep. It is like the holy grail for me for my beauty routine. If I can't sleep, then I 
just can't function. I don't look my best. I'm not able to present myself to the world. So beauty sleep, beauty sleep, yes, my beauty sleep is number one. And one thing that's really helped me is a pillow. And this pillow by Sleep and Glow, it's all over YouTube. I know tons of people talk about it. I have now had this for four or five years. I purchased this before I even considered starting a YouTube channel. This is fantastic. Now I didn't buy it for producing wrinkles. So it really was more about positioning, the correct positioning for my neck so that I could get good sleep. And I wouldn't be without it. Now here's the story. I went to repurchase it because I wanted to get one for my husband who has terrible time sleeping. And I have purchased embarrassingly expensive pillows for him. And his favorite pillow is like a $30 pillow. He actually buys it when we go on vacation and then just leaves it or gives it to somebody. <laughs> so a pillow is really important for your sleep. And so finding the right pillow for me was key to my beauty hygiene. And this pillow has really solved my problem. Now, do I take it on vacation? I don't. I just have to substitute a different pillow. And I survived those few days. But when I'm at home, I sleep every single night on that crazy pillow. So I went to exchange it so that I could get one for my husband. And Sleep and Glow changed the dimensions of it. The new one is slightly smaller. So I was like, okay, well, I can use the smaller one and I'll give my husband my older one. And no problem. But I honestly couldn't sleep on the smaller one. The way the dimensions had changed is an inch smaller in all diameters. So for me personally, the new one that they went, they must've gone with a new manufacturer, doesn't work for me, but the original sleeping go pillow and the, the new one might work for you. Maybe you have a smaller like distance between your shoulders. I have very broad shoulders and I think that's the issue. I'm really broad shouldered and I'm a small head, but my shoulders are broad. So this one gives me even that one inch on either side makes a huge difference. So if you're looking for a pillow, this is super expensive. I'm not recommending it, but find the right pillow for you, I guess is what I'm saying. And those are the top 10 beauty products that I don't want to live without that have been impactful to my beauty routine throughout the years that have made me feel more beautiful, more confident, and that I will continue to use and purchase throughout the years. I can't wait to hear what your top 10 are. Please leave me a comment down below and list your top 10. Also, don't forget to go over to Des's channel and check out her 10 beauty products that she can't live without. I'm really excited to see what she's come up with. And I will also link Tamara's top 10 and Kiki's top 10 down below. Thanks very much for watching and wishing you all a fantastic day.